Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss assignment operators in Java. So we are going to discuss simple assignment operator and compound assignment operators. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last session. When do we use relational operators? What is a relational expression? What is the return type of relational expression? Can we compare objects with relational operators? Can we compare non-numerical values with relational operators? We covered each and every point in detail in the lecture 19. If you haven't watched that, please watch that. The link is given in the description box. After watching this video, you will be able to know what is the use of assignment operator. Can we write constant at left hand side of the assignment operator? Can we assign multiple values using single statement in Java? When do we use compound assignment operators? What is the difference between is equal to operator and assignment operator. In lecture 18, we covered arithmetic operators. In lecture 19, we discussed relational operators. In this video, we are going to discuss third category of the operators that is assignment operators. As the name suggests, assignment operators are used to assign right side value into left side variable. See this example int a assignment 10. So, this assignment operator is used to assign this right side value into the left side variable. So, with the help of the assignment operator, we can assign a single value or we can assign one variable value into another variable also. See this example to int b assignment a. In this case, the value of a is assigned to the variable b. We can assign one expression to a variable also. If you write like this, int c assignment a plus b, first the right hand side of the expression will be evaluated. That value will be assigned to the variable c. Left side of an assignment operator should not be a constant. See this example if you write like this 15 assignment x, it is invalid, it does not give any meaning. Always the assignment operator is used to store right side value into the left side variable. While using the assignment operator, when we are assigning the value, that value must match the variable data type. Otherwise, it raises an error. See this example, int a assignment 10, 10 is a integer constant value and a is a integer variable. So, this value and the data type of this variable a must be matched. Otherwise, that raises an error. See one more example, int a comma b assignment 10 comma 20. So, here, we are trying to assign multiple values into multiple variables using single statement. In Java, it is invalid, but it is valid in Python. See this code a comma b assignment 10 comma 20. So, we are trying to assigning multiple values to the multiple variables by using single statement. If you execute this, we will get the output without facing any errors. See here int a comma b assignment 10, this is also invalid. We can use parallel assignment in Java that is valid. See int a assignment, b assignment, c assignment 10. First the value 10 will be assigned to the variable c. The value of c will be assigned to the b. The value of b will be assigned to the a. See this example for better understanding. So, here we are assigning the value 10 to the variable a and I want to print the value of 
वेरिएबल ये इन द सेकेंड केस आई वॉन्ट टू असाइन वन वेरिएबल वैल्यू टू दी अनदर वेरिएबल देन आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल बी एंड इन द थर्ड केस आई वॉन्ट टू असाइन एन एक्सप्रेशन टू दी वेरिएबल सी आफ्टर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल सी रन इट सी द आउटपुट ए वैल्यू इज टेन बी वैल्यू इज टेन सी वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी सी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल As we discussed, parallel assignment is valid in Java. Observe the seventh statement: A assignment, B assignment, C assignment ten. So we are assigning a single value to the all variables. So if you want to print the value of all the variables, all the three variables, we get ten. Observe the output. See the output: A value is ten, B value is ten, C value is ten. then compound assignment operator simple assignment operator also used with arithmetic bitwise and shift operators as of now we covered arithmetic operators we will cover bitwise and shift operators later but just remember we can use this a simple assignment operator along with bitwise and shift operators also when we use assignment operator with arithmetic bitwise and shift operators that frame the compound assignment operator then when we use compound assignment operator the rule is when we have the same variable at the left hand side and right hand side then only we can use compound assignment operator see the example a assignment a plus 10 if you observe this we have the variable a at the left hand side of the assignment operator and at the right hand side of the assignment operator in such cases we can use compound assignment operators so same statement can be written as a plus assignment to 10 so here plus assignment is called a compound assignment operator see the list of the compound assignment operators when we write assignment operator with arithmetic operators plus assignment the meaning of this operator is addition assignment in the same way subtraction assignment division assignment multiplication assignment modulus assignment so as we discussed already a assignment a plus 10 can be written as a plus assignment 10 This is just like a shorthand notation for a assignment a plus ten. A assignment a minus ten can be written as a minus assignment ten. A assignment a division ten can be written as a division assignment ten, and so on. See this example program to understand compound assignment operators. Int a assignment ten, a assignment a plus ten. Nothing but a ten is added to the value of a. That final value will be stored in the variable a again. So ten plus ten. So finally, the value of a becomes twenty. So now I want to print the value of a. So we will get twenty, right? Execute it. Now see the output is now a value is twenty. Now what I want to do is I want to make a assignment a plus 10 as a comment line now i want to write a plus assignment 10 as we discussed already these two are same a plus assignment 10 is a shorthand notation for a assignment a plus 10 in the eighth statement we are using compound assignment operator so let us execute we must get same output now see the output now a value is 20 so this is how to implement compound assignment operators i implemented only with plus assignment you need to implement with the remaining compound assignment operators that is your assignment this is very very important question what is the difference between assignment operator and is equal to operator assignment operator is used to assign the value or to store the values into the variable 
but is equal to operator actually what is is equal to operator it is a relational operator this relational operator is used to compare the values we covered already in the last video relational operators are used to compare the values see this example int a is equal to 10 this is invalid because i want to assign the value i want to store the value 20 into the variable a but here instead of the assignment operator we are writing is equal to operator so it raises an error so it is invalid int b assignment 20 perfect it is valid here we are trying to store the value 20 into the variable b see the third example if a is equal to b here we are trying to compare the value of a with b so this is also valid check your knowledge what you have learned from this video what is the use of assignment operator can we write constant at left hand side of the assignment operator can we assign multiple values using single statement in java when do we use compound assignment operators what is the difference between is equal to operator and assignment operator if this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel like and share it thank you